your back. And take up space here. Feet about hip width distance apart or greater. Arms along either side of you. Palms face the ceiling and squeeze the shoulder blades in so the heart opens even further. And you can elevate the crown of the head just slightly, a little bit more towards the floor so there's some space between the back of your neck and the mat. And then let your lower lip meet the lower ridge of the top of your teeth. So there's a slight little airway there. And let your eyelids close. Deeply relax your face. awareness to your breath. And we'll begin from just an observational standpoint. So just notice your breath currently where it is. Locate your breath. to lengthen your breath. Smooth out the edges, expansive inhalation, feel your chest rise to the ceiling. And the equal long smooth dissolutive exhalation and feel the heart melt. As you do this, seal your lips. Breathe in and out through the nostrils. This is Ujjayi Pranayama, a very specific intentional way of breathing as you move through practice. And you'll establish this right here, beginning. occupation on the breath. side body in the fetal position. Keep the eyelids closed. And stick with the breath and the always. And inhale, come to a tabletop. So press up. Knees about hip width, distance apart. Fingers are wide. Palms are about shoulder width distance apart. And we'll just warm up the spine here with some gentle cat cows. Link breath to movement. Inhale, drop your belly, gaze up. Drishti, look at the ceiling. Exhale, curl your spine, gaze to the navel, hollow out the back. Inhale, drop your belly, gaze up. Exhale, curl the spine, gaze to the navel. Inhale, drop. Exhale. 
exhale, curl. Two more, inhale, drop. Exhale, curl. One more, inhale, drop. Exhale, curl. Inhale, find a neutral spine. And curl toes under, press back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shavasana. So, first down dog is the practice. Palms remain shoulder width and then press into your pointer finger and thumb. Stabilize that foundation. Feet about hip width. Hand on the toes. Or a little bit more narrow, kind of whatever comes. Pedal out one heel and then the next. So, first down dog in the morning. Hamstrings are probably tight. Heels do not need to greet the floor. Suck in the belly. That fires up digestion. Again, stick with the breath through all this. You can rest in child's pose at any time, but since you're at home, highly suggest just letting judgment go away. Just do what you can. Ragdoll pose. Slowly feet walk to the top of your mat for a forward fold. Feet about hip width distance apart. Interlace elbows or your forearms. Now there can be a generous bend in the knees. And then just fold forward. Release the neck. You can gently sway side to side. Let your hamstrings open up here. Heads full of the heart. So you're getting a nice inversion. Blood is rushing to the head. palms to the floor. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. You're nice and slow. Head and neck last to come up. Take your time. Once you're up, shoulders all the way up to the ears and exhale down the spine. Good. We'll take a nice side body stretch. Inhale, arms up overhead. Left hand grabs your right wrist. And then exhale, drop the palms to the left. Right side body will go long. Breathe into the space, the ribs. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Right palm grabs your left wrist, drop palms to the right. Back to center, palms up overhead. Exhale, palms press together, heart center. Psalms DT, feet together to touch, top of the mat slight. Space between the heels, fan out the toes. Slight tuck of the tailbone, slight tuck of the chin. Palms, heart center once more. Good. Steady the breath, soft face, slight tuck of the chin. Exhale, all the breath from your lungs. Again, sternum scara A, sun salutation A. Inhale, arms up overhead, gaze the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Inhale to a flat back, gaze forward, or you can take your palms to the shins. Exhale, plant palms, step or slope, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, up dog, shoulders back. Gaze nose, exhale downward facing dog. We'll hold down dog here for five breaths. Inhale, exhale. Step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep arms high. 
Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Five breaths again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, walk, step or float to the top of your mat, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep on on top. Exhale, sound CT. Last sun, a total of three. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down, facing dog. With five breaths on your own. Really listen in. Step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, up top. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps up. Feel the dross in the egg. Arms up overhead. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up top. Exhale, down dog. Symmetry, other side. Inhale, left foot steps up. Warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. In five breaths, down dog. Exhale, walk, step or float. Inhale, flat back. So forward fold. Now do the guitar Check. So sounds the second. Now do the guitar Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Five. Exhale. Walk. 
step of the foot. Now I slap that. So forward fold. Now do the katasana. Samsiti. Last. Sambi. Inhale. Utkatasana. So forward fold. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Inhale. Right foot up. Warrior one. Exhale. Chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now left foot steps up. Warrior one. Bend in the left knee. Gaze thumbs. Exhale, chaturanga. Now up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale. Walk. Step or float. Now flat. So forward fold. Now do you toss them? Sounds we'll move on to some balancing. Padabhusasana, feet about hip width distance apart, take your hands to your hips, inhale here. Exhale, dive forward, take toe lock. Two piece fingers wrap them around the big toes. So you go out the lock, inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, elbows roll out. Now make it very active. You had about a dozen standing forward fold in some A, some B. So the hamstrings should be pretty tight. Gaze tip of the nose. Keep the lock, bottom of the fifth. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale here. Moving on to Parahastas and a deeper forward bend. Palms slide all the way under. So the big toes kiss the inside of the wrists. Inhale, exhale, dive forward. Bottom of the fifth, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale here, hands to your hips, inhale, rise. Samsiti. We're going to have the trikonasana triangle. Right foot kicks back. So square off your hips and shoulders to your side of the room. And then stance can be pretty narrow here, three feet or so. And then straighten your right leg. Inhale, right arm goes forward. And exhale, take toe lock. Or you can use a block for extra support, or you can just take it to your shin. And then take your left arm goes high. So your shoulders stack here, fingers together, gaze at your left. Thumb for five. Five, inhale, come on up. Arms out. And pivot and take your left side, straighten the left leg. Inhale, left arm goes forward. And exhale, take what's available. Left hip slides underneath your right gaze, right thumb, shoulders stack, and then externally rotate your femurs away from center line. Finally, now come on up. Pavrita Trikonasana, revolving triangle, same posture, but we just revolve it now. So square up the hips and shoulders to the back of your room stance can be even a little bit more narrow here. <laughs> Bring your right hand to your right hip. Inhale, left arm goes high. And exhale, forward fold and revolve to the right. So your left palm casts to the outside of your right arch. Or again, the inside or a block. 
And then right arm goes high. Twist along the axis of your spine. Okay, the right thumb. So the foundation will begin to twitch. It's progressive by nature here with the difficulty level and the standing postures. So forgive yourself. Lose balance. Good. Five. Right, so it gets down. And now come on up. Pivot. And take left side square off to the front. Left hand, left hip. Right heel is grounded. Good. Inhale, right arm goes high. And exhale, fold forward, revolve to the left. Okay, his left thumb, shoulders stack, twist them on the axis. side of the room, your hands to the hips or arms along either side of you, Psalms PT. Moving on to extended side angle, right foot kicks back once more, really wide stance here, wider than you were before, right knee stacks over right ankle. <clears throat> Inhale, right palm to the outside of the arch, your right arch where you can do elbow to knee, then your left arm goes high. So you've got this long, beautiful line from your left heel all the way up to the left pinky. Palm rotates towards the forward, fingers together. Gaze at the left pinky. Now come on up. Pivot. Take left side. So you'll pick up onto the symmetry here, the standing postures. Eventually, kind of just becomes second nature in your memory. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, revolving extended side angle or revolving crescent lunge. So we'll break this one down, square off to the back of the room. You can drop to your left knee for some support. <coughs> Take your left elbow or your tricep and hook it around your right knee. Now you can take palms together and twist gaze right shoulder. Or you can take your left palm to the floor and elevate the left knee. Right arm goes high. Keep 
the grip, inhale, gaze forward, exhale, release the hands, inhale, come on up, square up, songs. Core is Bhaktanasana, pyramid pose, our last balancing posture. In Samasthiti, you can grab opposing elbows or reverse namaste. Grabs in your practice. Right foot kicks back, square off entirely to the back of the room. Three feet or so, heel to heel, heel to arch. Inhale, and exhale, fold over the right leg. And kiss the kneecap. Gaze right big toe. Step or flow all the way through to seat. Good. Shoulder bridge. Nice little intro back bend. Heels kick in to your sit bones. And then interlace your fingers underneath you. Prop up onto the triceps. Good. And press your pelvis towards the ceiling. Chest will come to your chin. Avoid moving the neck. Five long deep breaths. So release down. A couple resting breaths. Lower the lower back and windshield and wipe the knees side to side. We'll move on to a deeper back bend or vidyaras in the wheel pose. Modification is the second set of shoulder bridge, which you did before. So for Urdhvidayaras in the palms plant alongside your ears, fingertips towards the front. And then exhale, lift your entire body up. So maybe the crown of the head comes up just a couple inches today, or fully, if you're fully up, you can straighten the legs for a deeper back bend. Release down. Nice work. Good. Knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice little hug. Roll up and down your spine three times. Third rock, vinyasa. Ankles cross, palms plant. Lift up, jump back. Now up dog. Exhale down dog. So that vinyasa just kind of irons out the body before we move into the counter posture. Take your time here, dab dog. So we're getting through this together, right? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, walk, step, or float. And we'll take Paschimottanasana, seated forward bend. This is the counter posture to the back bend where you were very intensely and dynamic bending your <clears throat> spine back. And then now we're gonna go to an intense forward bend. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive forward, grab what's available. Inhale, hold for 10 now, moving to the finishing longer holds. Exhale.
Steady the breath once more. Exhale, walk, step, or float. We'll move into a nice inversion here, <clears throat> but it's a restorative inversion. So, <clears throat> Sarvangasana, underline your back and shoot your toes high, palms to your lower back, your triceps form this nice little shelf here. And point the toes, your ankles stack over the knees, knees stack over the hips, hips stack over the shoulders. Is it your belly button? in the plow pose using core strength toes lower to the floor behind the head straighten the legs fingers interlace or you can take Karni Padasana knees to forehead or along the other side of the ears for 10 Very slowly now, this is an intense heart opener. Posture will break it down. Thumbs come underneath your seat. Good, and then prop it up onto your forearms. Good. You can like the screen here for some alignment. And so your triceps are elevated. We're bringing the crown of the head to the floor. So again, there's space between the back of your neck and the floor. Point the toes, legs are straight, gaze tip of the nose for 10. Very intense posture. Okay, they begin to lengthen and smooth out the breath in the shin sequence. their home stretch here guys closing exhale hold the breath so walk step or float all the way through to seat good we'll take padmasana comfortable cross-legged posture of your choice three options here i'm going to come around and face the camera this is sukhasana you can sit right here hips are tight Relax the knees, the hips follow. Or half lotus, in that case, right foot comes into the navel. Good. Or you can take full lotus. Whatever's in your practice. Good. Padmasana, so take Yon Mudra. Palms face the ceiling, point your finger thumbs. Good. Gaze down at your belly button. You can soften the face or even close your eyes. Ten breaths.
to not use show notes, alternate nostril breathing. And we'll move into, this is alternate nostril breathing. This is the second pranayama along with breathing in and out through the nose. <clears throat> and then we'll move on to kambuka. And after that, we'll move on to a second pranayama kambuka, which is breath retention. So keep the mudra on the second side, left side, and then bring your pointer finger and your middle finger to the space between the brow to your third eye. Then plug your left nostril with your right, with your right ring finger. And then your right thumb will hang out just outside your right nostril. So again, plug the left nostril with the ring finger. And let your right nostril be free. So we'll take five sets of this. Inhale right. Exhale left, so release the left ring finger, let the left nostril open while you plug the right nostril with the right thumb. Okay, keep the right nostril plugged, inhale left. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale both nostrils. Exhale both nostrils. Top of the inhale. Exhale, five. So, three, inhale, hold, egg. 
Yes, sir. Fourth, in and out. Stick with the final one. In and out. Hold. Exhale. Turn the way you started, come full circle, feet about hip width, arms along either side, palms face the ceiling. Close your eyes. And at this point, just let go of all effort. Let go of trying to even control the breath. very hard. This is your opportunity to reward yourself. Final Shavasana is extremely important, especially after a practice like that. And if the mind isn't quite calm, it takes 60 breaths here. Count them, that gives the mind something to focus on. Maybe drift into daydream, sleep. <laughs> 